Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Bright. I'll be watching another epic, amazing, awesome episode of the Unboxing Authority. On this episode, we have got some like toe pads, finger pads, whatever you want to call them that you put on. And the thing is, these in the United States, if you go into a drugstore or something, these are usually for the little short ones, you know, that are sewn up on the end. They usually cost like, you know, $5 a piece. These ones are twice or three times as long as the ones that we get in the store. This is a 10 pack and uh, that's that's what's in here. So we're gonna try these today. Uh, Grandma has been having a sore finger. Usually we put these on her toe, but she's been having, I guess someone's taking their garbage out. Anyway, she's been having a really sore finger and I think she might have cut it when she was washing dishes or something, I'm not sure. Or it could be just because it's so dry and we've been putting cream on her hand and, and to try to help, you know, keep that, keep that from happening. So, in any case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put one of these on her finger that hurts real bad. And since this has silicone in here, we can put some lotion in there if we want to. Um, you know, whatever we need to do. And we'll put this on that finger and hopefully it will help the finger heal faster uh, than it has been and uh, she won't, you know, re-injure it or open it by folding clothes or whatever it is that she wants to do. Okay, so let's go try that out right now. All right, we've cut this down pretty short. Let's try again with the short. Cutting it down. That'll protect it until it gets better. See, now it's short, so it's not squeezing up there. Yeah, I know it ain't squeezing up there. But that'll protect your finger till it gets better. See? And then the rest of it that we cut off over here, this could go on one of your toes. You know how we put the ones on your toes? See? That could fit on one of your toes. So, like I said, we pay $5 for a piece like this from the store just for a piece like this for one of your toes and so that's that's a good deal well anyways thanks so much for watching the video please like comment share and subscribe may Jesus bless you please click the links in the description of the video consider giving to our patreon and go to christiancourts.com and all that other good stuff but if you want to help us out the most just make sure to watch lots of our videos all right So hopefully you guys saw the video of me cruising around on the bike. I'm pretty sure I did that. Boy, that reflector is reflective in the camera, isn't it? Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you guys my lighting. I got my lighting all done. So there's the uh, just the standard running lights and the uh, license plate right there. Got the license plate light going. 
can see it there. Okay, so that's sweet. And you can find that on howtobuildamoped.com, that part there. I got it for free. Somebody sent me that. And I've been waiting a long time to install it. It's probably a year since somebody sent me that to review. And uh, I thought, well, I'm going to have to build a motorbike for this or get an electric bike or something, you know. Anyway, so here's how this is wired up. So I went under here. I stayed the same colors. And then I went to, see, I went to regular wires there. And uh, the 16 gauge, because these guys claim that this draws like 40 watts of power, but it doesn't even register on uh, my power supply, so I don't think it, I don't think it really draws anything. But anyway, so wires go along here underneath the gas tank. Tried to keep them nice and clean and out of sight there with the black wrapping around like that. And of course, you can see down here the extra hardware. Now I was able to use the same mount for the uh, the uh, CDI there for the uh, regulator. Um, now, a regulator, just a, a rectifier goes from uh, DC to AC, I'm sorry, AC to DC, alternating current to direct current. And uh, basically, I've, you can you can get those even smaller, but they've got to have a heat sink on them, and so that's pretty much the way to go. Fairybikebrightlights.com has a kit you put on. You don't have to wire any of this stuff up. It just has plugs, and you plug it all in, and it's done. But there we go. And then, of course, I got my motorcycle uh, headlight switch here. This is for four-way. I, I changed this to be four-way flashers because I need a switch for that. This switch sucks. This is the one that came with the headlights here. And uh, this switch sucks because when I turn them off, uh, sometimes the red laser stays on. It didn't this time, but there it flashes. There you go to low beam, so I don't use all my power. There's the red laser. It's supposed to be pointed upside down. The red laser is supposed to be on the ground. I don't know... I mean, I'd have to figure out a way to turn this upside down. And if I did, I think it would just hit my basket. Here's left signal light, right signal light. Somebody sent me these signal lights too. Uh, what I'd like to do, honestly, is have just a little light, yellow light here hooked into this, just so it's easy to see from the side. But, you know, this is the side profile of the bike. Even, you know, you can see I'm kind of behind it. And you can still see the signal light from this side. So, pretty good. Now, as far as the other side, though, um we'll do the same thing go back here now it's kind of invisible see so even if i put them i mean i guess i could put them up higher but i don't know anyway that's that and then of course my four ways and we'll go back and look at the back ones now brake lights are not on the brake lights are on would be much brighter of course i don't have the headlight on so my running lights aren't on because i connected all that together
agrees that 4K video is good for you. It's good for your health. So make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe. Midget Splish You, please check out ChristianCourts.com and HowToBuildAMoped.com and all those other affiliate links and great things in my GoFundMe. All right. Bye.